All right, first official day of practice. A uh, lot of excitement. Last year, ending the season, regional final. Uh, first time you'd ever advanced that far. From last year, fall, and now the guys coming back. Talk about getting going finally officially now for this new season. Well, you know, in finishing up talking about last year, what a great year it was for us. But now the, the challenge is, can we follow that up with a, a similar type effort? And the fall was very good. We, we felt like our guys came and, and they really got after it in the fall and we got better as a group, which is the whole idea. But what we're really excited about is we feel like from the time that they left us until they came back after Christmas, you could tell there was a lot of work that was put in. So uh, we've, we've actually had great weather uh, to practice in or for them to work out in. And, uh, and I, I think we're on the right track. And so we're excited to get going. I know you've done individual stuff, but still it's a short period of time to get ready for the first game on February 14th, isn't it? It is, and it's one of the things that we talked about in December, that there's not time for us to come back and go through a full spring training like a major league, you know, to get ready. It's, it's absolutely necessary that they show up ready to go. And I, and I really believe they did. And where you'll see it is how many injuries do you have. You know, if you start having injuries right now, those are hard to get over by the time the season starts. And we've had a nick or two or a tweak or two, but we've had very little. So I think they did a nice job. All right. Two holes immediately come to mind. Your Friday night guy, Garrett Farmer, got to replace him. And Nick Gaddis, four-year mm -hmm. guy, two huge holes to fill. Well, I think, you know, not only what they did for us on the field, but the leadership that they gave us. And, and they'll be missed. There's no question about it. But I say this, if you've got a good program, you should go through these losses every year. I mean, you're always going to lose people that are hard to replace. And that's where we sit. It's, it's going to be hard to uh, replace the guy that was voted the best pitcher in the league. And maybe it's not one person that replaces him. Maybe it's three guys that step up and do just a little bit more than what we thought they could and it takes up the slack left by him. And then Gaddis, he's going to be a hard guy to replace because of how unselfish he was. He could have almost, hey, I want to catch every day to help myself from a professional standpoint. His only goal was to help us be a good baseball team. And so from catching to third base, he brought a lot of leadership. He got a lot of big hits. Somebody else is going to need to get those hits this year. But I think that uh, as I said, I think that that's something that you face every year in college athletics, and hopefully we'll be thinking next year, how do we replace those guys because of the years they had this year? Can we give the schedule maker a raise? First 14 games at home, that's pretty sweet, isn't it? I would love for you to give the schedule <laughs> maker a raise, actually. Um, but it, it is good. And this is one of the things that, that has helped us in having the stadium that we have. And part of the reason is, is teams know that if they come here, the chances of not playing are very slim. Uh, it would almost have to rain all weekend for us not to be able to play. So uh, we're excited about the schedule. We're excited to have 14 home games uh, in a row. And at the same time, with who we're playing, we better show up ready to play or it won't be a good experience mentioned earlier the regional final. Is there still excitement from what you did last year that's carried over with the guys returning from a season ago? I think there is, and I think the one thing, and you've been here for all of these years just like I have, the one thing that we haven't done is backed up a year like last year with another year. And so to me that becomes the big challenge because if we can make it back, if, and that's a big if, but if we can make it back, all those experiences that we had a year ago will pay off this coming year. When you miss a couple of years, a lot of the people that were involved in that are gone. And so I, I'm excited for us to see how hungry we can be to go back and be able to do what we did a year ago, which from the middle part till the end of the year, might have been about as good as we've played since I've been here. You know, very mediocre first half, I would say. And from the, from the midpoint to the end, about as good as that group of guys could play. Second year in the facility, it's still 
pretty neat to pull up here every day, go to work, and I'm sure for the guys to come out here and practice and get ready for the new season, exciting from that standpoint too, isn't it? There, there's really hardly a time that this facility is not being used. And w when I say that, uh, certainly we're talking about our baseball guys, but we're sitting in a room that's probably used an average of two or three times a week by different people on campus. Honestly, we think that that's a great thing for the, all of these people to be over here. Uh, our indoor facility, a day like yesterday where it's so cold that used to, we're just kind of out of luck. We don't miss a beat when we go in there. And we feel like in a lot of ways, maybe we get more done sometimes in there. So uh, this facility and, and all of those who had a part in providing this facility for us, we couldn't be more thankful for it. Getting ready for the start of practice to begin the 2020 season for Jacksonville State. Rain's out of here, sunshine. It's baseball season, right, Corbin? Oh, yes, sir. It looks good. Coming out of fall, coming into the, the workouts that you've had so far, is it exciting now? Can you see that the, the season starts three weeks from today? It's hard to imagine the season starts in about 21 days or something like that, but um, I know we're ready to get after it today. Beautiful weather. We didn't think we'd be outside today, so we're ready to get after it. Well, it helps. You know. The yeah, turf, the that turf, makes it a little bit easier, too. A lot easier. Yes, sir. A lot easier. See those days when you couldn't get on the field, now you can get out of here. Get, get out of here. Just as long as we have sunshine, we're good to go. Yeah. Personal standpoint, senior year, is it hard to believe that this is already now going to be four years in the program for you? Uh, yeah, I really can't believe it. It feels like I, last year, like my first year, but just ready to get after it this year, finish out strong, finish what we started last year, and just keep going. Terrific year last year, get to the finals and the regionals. Is that excitement carried over in the workouts leading in out of the start of the season? Well, yes and no. Well, we know that we're capable of doing that and doing more than that, but we just don't want to look at last year and just try thinking we're that same team as last year because we're not that same team. I mean, I'm not saying we could be better, but we just need to focus on this year and just start one game at a time. You look at the pitching staff, you and Wilbur, you're the old guys, right? Yes, sir, we are the old guys. <laughs> the only seniors, so. Is it on you leadership-wise to lead these guys? Um, I don't think so. I think everyone here, I think we're just, as a group, we just lead each other as a group. And um, even the young guys who came in, and they don't act like young guys. If you came to a practice, you wouldn't know who the freshmen are and who the seniors are. I think everybody just does what they have to do. And I'm just ready to see how the season turns out. Last year, 7-0, and 2-2-7 ERA, a couple of saves. Can you uh, go, unbeat, uh, go undefeated again this year, have a perfect record? <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> just, hope, just hope we have a lot of success this year as a team and just really just want everybody to be successful. And hopefully I want to hit that 40 win mark this year, and that's kind of what, what we're looking for as a team. So that's one of the goals going in? Well, we haven't really talked about it as a team, but I'm sure if you ask anybody on this team, they'd, they'd like to get there. Yes, sir. Alex Webb, Jacksonville State senior catcher. This is it, man. You know, the last go round. Uh, we talked to Corley about that. For you, is it hard to believe this is it in your last year of college baseball? Yeah, I mean, even for me, I've had an extra year. It's my fifth year, so it's kind of flown by for me. I've kind of moved around a good bit, but I finally found a home in the last two years, and I've enjoyed my time here. I'm just not trying to focus on it so much, just trying to enjoy my time with the guys and getting after it, doing something that we all love. All right. Go back to the fall workouts and now what you've done so far individually, January, getting ready for the first day of practice here. Uh, just personally, individually, what did you want to work on coming into the fall and, and then uh, heading into the spring season? Um, this fall, I kind of want to work on one thing was leadership, just kind of asserting myself because last year being the new guy, you couldn't really assert yourself so much. So I wanted to take kind of a leadership role this year. And then also on a personal note with the baseball side of things, kind of cut down on my strikeouts a little bit, focus on that, walk a little bit more, and then just enjoy it. Because, I mean, like you said, it's my last go around, so I'm just trying to enjoy every second I have out here. Last June, ended up, you get to the regional finals at Oxford. Has the excitement of what that team accomplished, has that carried over now for the new season? I, th I think so. I think everyone remembers what we did and how much fun it was. And I mean, it's not even so much that. It's not just the regional, it's the conference tournament. and. The regular season, we had a great team season. So I think just kind of building off of that, you don't want to just stay focused on the past, but you want to remember what you did and how you got there, kind of what didn't work and what did work. So you can use both those positives and negatives moving into this season. All right, you went over 300 last year and led the team and runs batted in, led the team in doubles. So what do you do to improve yourself offensively? Uh, you know, I'm just going to go out there and try to do what needs to be done, whether that's getting a bunt down, whether that's 
getting a sack fly. I mean, if I need to pull guys like up on the rail, you know, just kind of keep everyone engaged. That's more where I'm focused, kind of helping the team out more. So, because if you just take care of everybody else, everything else will take care of itself. So I'm just trying to focus on the team and how I can help the team out. On top of that, you're the catcher, so you got all those guys on the pitching staff. And you yeah. got a whole bunch of new faces. So you had time to learn most of the guys. Yeah, they've been pretty easy to get to know. You know, the young guys, they've come in, they've worked really hard. They've improved a lot also from where they came in. And I think having, I mean, we returned a lot of guys also with having a new, a lot of new guys come in. So I think having that combination of new and old is going to benefit us a lot because I didn't have to get used to too, too much. But the new guys, they brought in a different element that we may not have had. So having those new guys, it's going to be a blast. And having the old guys back, it's going to be a blast. You mentioned earlier that you were the new guy than the new guys last year. Are you more comfortable? Are you in a better position right now uh, from a standpoint of getting ready for the season than you were this time a year ago? Yeah, I mean, just kind of being more comfortable with in myself, you know. Um, I've just grown to love it here, so I've been more comfortable, been more apt to say something, whether it's like a job or a picking up a step, but it's a testament to these guys at how much we are a family on this team and on this campus, so I, it's kudos to them as much as anything.